Welcome back. Going to be honest with you. I had a hard time sleeping last night. I'm a little excited for this year's Pizza Hut Classic draw. I know a lot of you at home were eagerly awaiting the draw as well. Here are the first round matchups for the annual tourney. There was plenty of pizza and basketball talk Tuesday at Terre Haute North High School. 16 area coaches and administrators were looking forward to the 14th Pizza Hut Classic draw. The tourney starts on December 26th with South Vermillion versus Riverton Park. No coach has played the opener more than RP's Charlie Martin. I think I have the Pizza Hut Classic record for most national anthems heard by any coach. We have struggled. We, we are trying to change not only the basketball team at the South Vermillion, but also a culture. We're very hungry and we want to make a name for ourselves and we want, we want to get some recognition. Next up is defending Class 2A state runner-up Linton against Northview. We don't have any real big names, but we got some kids that can play, and um, you know, so far they've, you know, they're trying to do things the right way. And we play, we play very hard, which we better because we're not real big. But uh, you know, these kids are, you know, they're hungry to show that they can play too. Watching our guys get excited uh, going into to, uh, where we played at last year, and then getting a chance to watch them go back and just see how they reacted to watching the, the final game. Uh, you know, hopefully they took a little bit of that uh, away with them and, and won't forget about. Uh, being a fan and maybe they can see themselves out there on the floor as well. Game three is a WIC showdown between West Vigo and Owen Valley. Hopefully, you know, we can string four days, three or four days together there where we can play well. Um, we'll just kind of have to play it out and see what happens. We will have a little bit of a, a, a pre-tournament uh, meeting with them Saturday, so we'll, we'll know a little bit more, but also, you know, it'll give, give the guy that comes out on the losing end a, a chance to make some adjustments before this tournament. No one has won this tourney more than Terre Haute North, the five-time champion Patriots, open against Shackamack. Goliath uh, matchup for us in Terre Haute North. Um, they're basically replacing their lineup from last year, and uh, we're re basically replacing ours as far as points are concerned. So uh, it'll be an interesting matchup. Regardless of the size of the school, they'll have their five, we have our five, and we're going to have to play well in order to win. The first game in the bottom half of the bracket features one of the tourney favorites in KZ Westfield against Monrovia. The 5:30 game has Marshall and Terre Haute South. These two have played some of the best games in the tourney's history, including 2008 when the Lions led by the Idols and Taylor Duncan knocked off Jake Odom and the Braves in the semifinals. Probably maybe one of the best games ever in this tournament was us. It was a semifinal game, mm -hmm. and uh, we did everything in the world to try to stop Jake Odom, you know, grab a hold of him, everything we could. Uh, hit some free throws down the stretch. Uh, Taylor Duncan and Twins, uh, you know, it was just a great tournament. Uh, you know, the, the crowd was crazy. It was, it was just a fun night, and it actually is probably is one of those program builders. A good matchup the year we won it with Jake and Zach Odom, and they had the Idol Brothers. And the next year, uh, Jake's senior year, they got us. Uh, great game. Both great games. They're, they had some really good players and they've always been well coached. Coach Brandon does a great job, so we'll have our work cut out for us. Sullivan plays at 7 p.m. against Turkey Run. The Golden Arrows won it all in 2009 and enter this year as the tourney favorite. Well, it's just about like winning a sectional. I mean, it's as exciting as winning a sectional. I mean, those of us that get to play in the Wabash Valley Classic, it's like we have two sectionals every year, which is fun and it's exciting. It's exciting for our kids. So, you know, it, it, it always, it's always going to mean a lot for us to be in a small school to win this tournament up here. Final game of day one is between Rockville and Robinson. This is a rematch of last year's title game in which the Rocks came out on top. I know they lost a lot, but so did we. Um, I'm just glad they don't have any more Mahern's, uh, you know, roaming the sidelines or, you know, on the court.